What's going on guys? It's Tom Lamar back today and I want to talk about hands-free shoulder pad for camcorders. Yes, here's a picture of a guy with on the box right there. Can you see that? Can you see him? I know you can see him. There it is. Yeah. So, the deal with this is I was going to go to a shoot to do a live actually a live stream because I was just doing some behind the scenes uh, um, for a group that I work with uh, where we shoot a few movies and so forth some features um, as well as uh, TV episodes of things and so forth I end up having uh, death in the family and wasn't able to go so but I have this piece that I bought specifically for this because I wanted to be able to go have my hands free but have it stabilized as I stood in one spot or a different spot um, so that I could live stream some of what was going on. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it and basically find out, would this be good for the G7? It's a really good question, right? When I got my G7, I ended up getting a student loan and went straight to getting a uh, Fiotech gimbal. So I didn't have to deal with stabilization as far as, you know, in a big sense of being really bad. You know, I had one of those, uh, uh, some different stabilizers that weren't that great. The kind of the handheld that has the weight that kind of bobbles at the bottom and all horrible. That's why I went with the gimbal. But this is little ditty. Let, let, me, let me show it to you. So it comes in a few pieces. You can unloosen this arm here well, maybe we can there we go and this will go over your shoulder against your chest and this strap will go around your body now let me be absolutely honest with you the strap is fully extended all the way you, you see it near the buckle it just fits around my chest. So if this is something that you're thinking about getting after you watch this, you may want to find a strap off of a bag or something like that that's a little bit longer because truly just enough to see around my chest. And I'll show it on in just a minute. So you have the main piece and you have an additional extension right here. And I was going to use my uh, iPhone as the uh, live for the video. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, so as you see, I have the um, shoulder harness on now and seriously as you can see it really just fits around my body so you might need a bigger strap if you're a bigger person if you're smaller than you know a large 42 inch chest or something like that then uh, you, you have no problems and you just have to kind of keep your orientation right the pad is comfortable enough it kind of fits against your rib cage and you know all these pieces are adjustable but let's see here so pop my iPhone in. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, will Face ID unlock me sideways? I don't think so, guys. Let's just get this unlocked first. Boom! Now we're unlocked. And I pop my iPhone in. So, as you can see, <laughs> you can do a pretty good hands-free while you have it basically connected you may want to keep a hand on the like right here and it gives you some stabilization as you're kind of moving around but it's pretty cool in respect of being able um, to live video yourself or live video what's in front of you and stream as well as record video um, one of the things I will say is it's all based and subjected to body movement so there's no real stabilization other than being on a fixed plane and kind of not touching with your hands <sighs> but as you breathe you see it rises up and down so you really want to control your breathing as well as what i found was it needs an extra bit of stabilization and i think i have a solution for you and you may have to find your own but i'm going to offer you a great suggestion so let's move back away from um this camera right here and let's put a g7 on Oh, uh, uh, wrong. Look this way, right? Nope, nope. I have my quick connect for my tripod mount. If you uh, don't know about these quick connects, they're my favorite ones that I use. You definitely need to check it out. I know I did a previous video on them. They're super easy. All right, so we're going to add this to the mount. Okay, so now I have my G7 on, as you can see, boom, right there, we're good to go. 
and as we move it around you see I kind of hold it with my hand to give that extra bit of stabilization Let's get the focus boom we can see the camera recording on right there and my little backdrop that's behind the TV we're going to show what's on the TV right now I kind of muted and left it running so we're not going to worry about that but yeah there you are so this would be good as a nice if you're going to stand and hold it control your breathing and get those nice smooth shots in panning around it's good for that or if you want to come from a little angles and pan up keep your horizon on on your g7 you'll be able to get those uh not so great for bending back and coming down shots you know no one wants to hurt their back but it does offer you a benefit of more stabilized shots on a g7 how i went and made this even better is really adding handles away from it and i'll show you some examples that i'll pop up on the screen but i have a glide gear horn and let me show you what i do with my horn so the glide gear horn also has its own strap that kind of goes around your neck and allows you to do a few extra things with it as far as stabilization man i started with this thing before i got my gimbal love it i still use it to today because it's awesome if you don't have one you definitely want to get one now there's a slot here that you can actually put the glide gear horn through boom and we're going to use this hammer nut to kind of lock it down right there so now what we have we'll go ahead and flip that around put it around the neck and we have a really stabilized system you're not even touching the camera and I have to say this is pretty slick to use now the glide gear horn uh, much as I love it it does it is kind of pricey for this um, but it allows mounting options here as well as here so if you need a mic or an additional monitor or something of that nature you hope you have those options which is pretty cool also um, it gives you control of your pan precise control and it helps stabilize it against your breathing so that you're constantly in control of your camera this is the poor man's or the inexpensive way to really get your video recording done and stabilize your footage it may look a bit like a contraption definitely with the strap around my neck but look at the points of contact you have to stabilize your camera uh, we all know that g7 doesn't have in-body stabilization um, like my g85 which i have on a tripod recording um, but i have to tell you guys using this type of solution it actually makes this shoulder harness dang usable and pretty doggone good in regards to being able to do what you need to do to get the job done and we all know we're out there shooting trying to get the job done doing work you know i had misgivings about this at first if it would even work but with this t-handle setup i actually kind of like it and you don't have to use the strap you can simply go sorry ceiling fans in the way we, with the t-handles you don't have to use the strap you can definitely not go with that and just buy your crossbar like this one or this one and if you can find them even less expensive go for it you know 15 millimeter rod isn't super expensive if you can find just the handles with the rod adapter or connector on there go with that option because you'll need the t-piece to go ahead and add uh your mount so that you can go through the slot here but i'm telling you it's not bad it actually has great stabilization and you can use this for any camera that doesn't have in-body stabilization any camera even a cell phone i can take this back off put my iphone back on there record in 4k and the stabilization is already in an iphone and now i'm super stabilized people i'm not going to lie to you it's again a little contraptuous this strap may not fit you you may need a longer one but the facts are you can take inexpensive items and record great video so that's my review for this today i have the prices linked below it's an amazon affiliate link you know I'm trying to make something around here because you don't really make anything from youtube right now but it's okay i do it for the people i do it so that you have the knowledge so that you can get out there and shoot and make great videos yo as always let's go and even if you take these off right here to hold your strap it gives you two more screws for mounting other quarter 20 options so you have two on the side, two on the top. You can mount all kinds of things to your T-handle. I mean, again, it's a Glider horn. One of the reasons I love it so much is because it's so versatile. Truly.
love this thing but you don't have to go with this option just go with the option that's the best for you to get the job done simple as that yo hands free let's go so once you have it over your shoulder and on your pad the simplest way is to connect the short piece to the hook and simply buckle it in and you're good make sure that you already have pre-adjusted your belt so that it fits your chest your torso uh, comfortably but snug enough so that it maintains proper adhesion to it you have the knob over here once you have the set you can tighten it down tightens or loosens but based on that this is the budget option it has a pivot point there so if you need to bring it around you can pivot it I don't know about the degrees that, but you can pivot it without even having to move your body. So, but yeah, oil it, oil that first <laughs> for sure. Uh, but yeah, it offers some pretty cool options. Again, there's a slot right here that you can mount it in because this piece can slide backwards and forwards. I think it'll work for you. What do you guys think? Leave some comments below. Let me know. Hey. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like this video, share it because there's somebody out there that you know if you're the G7 squad that can use this. And as always, see you next time.